and Beth Koegi, I made this glass of clean drinking water from air using this device. I was born in Kiambu, it's a county in Kenya, um, and that's where I was raised. Actually, where I was born, there was a lot of water, to be sincere. So we grew in that 1% place in Kenya. There was a lot of water, and we were oblivion to the water situation elsewhere. So let me first explain the name. So Maji means water in Swahili and the K stands for Kuvuna. So basically the name means water harvesting. So Kuvuna is harvesting in Swahili. It has been more of a journey than just waking up and like having an idea. I started with water filtration because my first encounter with water issues, it was with water contamination when I was doing my undergraduate, but then Kenya in 2016, 2017 had a huge drought. That was actually on another level in terms of the way I was affected by water because I've never experienced that. Um, so you'd go for four months without water in your tap. And that's where I felt like um, maybe I should be looking at water stress as an issue as a whole. And that's why we started looking at other water resources apart from rivers, borehole. And now we settled on air. The reason why we decided this is the best place to test our technology is because first, the children uh, do not have like clean drinking water. Previously, they were drinking water from the rainfall, but they haven't had rainfall for a long while. And also the tap water is not drinkable because it's not purified and comes from a river that has high levels of contamination from like the industrial areas around here. Um, and then the other thing is quite spacious, so this technology requires a lot of air coming in and out, um, so it's ideal. So right now we are using two methods. One is the condensation and the other one is using desiccants. This machine can get 50 liters of water from the atmosphere. Basically, it uses condensation model. So we have air being pulled in from this side. So there is an internal fan. And then that same air, it's actually cold, wet air. And then from the other side, it's from behind here, it's expelled as hot, dry air. And this is because it, had, as a, it has undergone the condensation coil, so most of the water vapor has already been condensed. And then that water is actually now passed through these filters. So we have different kind of filters, reverse osmosis, there's activated carbon filters, there's the sedimentation filter. So there are different kind of filters to remove different things. And then once the water is passed through these filters, it's stalled in the tag. Basically, part of the reason why we bought the machine here is to also to understand how it works and how like the energy consumption, how do people find the taste. So for me, it was refreshing to see the children drinking from it and liking it. So 
running this machine is quite expensive in terms of energy. A normal person living in a rural place will not afford to pay for that electricity. So that is a big hindrance even for us, making a business case to taking this technology actually where it's needed. Um, and that's why we are adapting or looking for ways to adapt the solar panels and the solar system to run this device. That means there's a lot of sun here, so it is the best or the ideal source of energy and actually to be cheaper in the long run for everyone. I think I never expected people to be this supportive. So, and I think we are getting over the idea that people are, can try to help you achieve your vision without needing something back from you. So, so many times we are left wondering what is this person gaining by doing this uh, for us. So for me personally, I have seen that actually people want to see solutions working and they want to see a certain idea successful because eventually it will change the world.